Today, I'm going to show you why it's important to get your cylinder and barrel ratio right. The cylinder and barrel ratio is the difference in the volume between the cylinder and the barrel. When firing gels, if the cylinder has a much greater volume than that of the barrel, there will be turbulent air behind that will spin the gel in an undesired way, causing inconsistency and accuracy loss. While if the cylinder has a much lower volume than the barrel, it will actually pull on the gel and it will struggle to accelerate it properly and you'll lose FPS. Good pressure will push the gel in the most efficient way and will give you the best accuracy. The difference you want to be aiming for is the cylinder to be about 1.7 to 1.8 times that of the barrel. It doesn't matter if it's around that, so 1.6 or 1.9, but as long as you can get close to that, you'll get the best results. This website I've been using as a guide and explains with photos really well on why this is important. The best way to get the right ratio would be to match the cylinder to your desired barrel length. And if adjustments need to be made, you can cut down your barrel to get the right amount. To lower the cylinder volume, we use ported cylinders, and the percentage of the port relates to how far down the port will be on the cylinder. A lower percentage will mean that the air starts to compress at a later time compared to a full cylinder where it will start to compress straight away. To calculate the volume of these, you can use pi times r squared times length, or you can use calculator online to make it easier. This website has a calculator where you can just put the value straight in and it will give you the ratio difference. Here I'm going to measure the length and diameter of my full cylinder to get the values so I can put it into the calculator. Once you've measured your full cylinder, you need to take away the bit of room that the cylinder head actually takes up inside the cylinder. So I'm just measuring that and I'm going to take that number away. So for my full cylinder, that's given me a, le a length of 66 mils. Now for my barrel, it actually has the values on the outside, but I'm going to measure it anyway to show you how you can do it. With my vernier, I measured the inside and it was 7 mils as it's a type or barrel, while a standard barrel would be about 7.5. I know the length of this is 350 mil, so I'm going to put these into the calculator. As you can see, that's given me a ratio of 2.16 to 1, which is probably a bit high, so it wouldn't be the most ideal setup. I'm going to measure my 85% ported cylinder now and get the values from that. So I put them into the calculator and it's come up with 1.6 to 1. So that was pretty close to that 1.7 or 1.8. So I've got the right cylinder for my barrel. To make this value even closer to what I need it to be, I can just lower the barrel length here to see what value would be best. So if I cut my barrel down to 320 mil rather than 350, you can see I get a ratio of 1.73 to 1, which is pretty spot on. So again, this number doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you got it close, you'll get good accuracy for shooting your gels. If you're going to be running a 40 centimeter barrel or higher, you definitely should be using a full cylinder. Anything lower, that's when you should start to look at ports. For really short barrels, you should be finding an 80% port or lower, 70% might be ideal. But for a 35 centimeter barrel, you want about the 85% port. This barrel that I'm using is going into my ACR as it's almost the same length as the stock. So I'm gonna go with this 85% cylinder as it's pretty close to what I need. Any questions, just ask down below and I'll get around to answering them. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.